Well, living in Michigan, this is probably your best friend. We are here at Ace Hardware, and we're talking with Lou Manfredini, Ace's home expert, about preparing for snow and ice. Mm -hmm. It's winter. You, you better a, be ready. You picked a good one, though. This is pretty nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, one of the things is, obviously, with the snow and the ice, this is something that people battle a lot. Yeah. You want to make sure you have the right tools and the supplies to help you, you know, get rid of it safely. That's the key with all of this. I mean, we hear the stories all the time about people that they lift too much snow, it's heavy snow. They end up in the yard. Uh, right. They, they use the wrong kind of ice melt, and then people are complaining about my landscaping in the spring. And so choosing the right things now can really make a difference. Uh -huh. Now, this particular one you're looking right. at. Right. It's got a nice wave to Right. It. Well, that wave actually is something to help save your back. Oh. So the idea behind this, this is really a pusher, but it can actually, actually lift the snow as well. Now, that big handle there, if you hang mm -hmm. on there, right. you'll see the way the blade is designed. You can sure. go ahead and push the snow, but you can lift it as well. Mm -hmm. And the idea behind the bent handle is the fact that you don't have to bend as far and hurt your back. Very ergonomic. Exactly. Now, other versions of that, this one has that kind of same uh, handle uh -huh. up at the top. I like A little this. bit smaller. Comfy. This one can lift as well. These are inexpensive. What's nice about it, too, hold it right there. You see how it's a plastic blade? There's no metal shovel. Uh -huh. So depending on what it is you're scraping, if you have like a brick patio or some area that you're worried about scraping and scratching, you won't do that because of the plastic blade only. Oh, okay. And it continually sharpens itself as you're using it. Wow, well, it kind of goes against great. what you think, but uh, and I like this big scoop here. Well, right now, this snow. this one is a different version here. It is is really exclusively a, a pusher, mm -hmm. and the idea behind this is that you're just going to push that snow out of the way, get your back behind it. I like the the heels that you're wearing as you're moving the snow, but we're doing this just Very for demonstration ball. purposes. But something like this will allow you to move a lot of snow, but the key when it's moving any kind of snow when you're doing this is work in sections. Don't try and, and take off, uh, bite off more than you can chew because that's when you can get tired, that's when you can get hurt, we can have health issues as well. So choosing the right shovel, and I mean you can see the selection that's here. Oh, a time uh, to choose Yeah, from. you can really find exactly what suits your needs and how much you want to spend. I mean it, it varies of course on what you want to spend. But the thing is, it's like any tool, uh, you buy good tools, they're going to last. Sure. So I'm a big proponent of that. Now, ice melt is uh, a really critical part of winter, in particular in Michigan. Oh, yeah, a must-have for pretty much all homeowners. Absolutely. Now, rock salt is your least expensive option. Okay. This is what is similar to, that's used on highways and whatnot. Right. Um, it works really well. It works very well with very cold temperatures, but it's not a great choice when it comes to the, well, the ground as far as uh, the concrete, it can spall, it can start to crack and peel away because mm -hmm. you use too much rock salt. When this gets on the landscape and around the perimeter, that can start to burn the grass. Oh, so you really want to be conscious of the needs for your home. Right, so you get into some of these blends like this. Uh, this ice melter product here that Ace uh, makes in, in their own name is a blend between rock salt, calcium chloride, and even potassium chloride. Those chemicals are less harmful on vegetation. And then they have these small shakers to next mm -hmm. to it that are versions of that as well. Now, calcium chloride, which is what this product is right here, is more expensive, but it's a better product to use mm -hmm. because it doesn't damage the vegetation around the surroundings. So then in the springtime, you're not like, oh, i got to replace all this grass, or this killed my bushes. That. Right. I mean, the thing is, in the wintertime, you're worried about, hey, I want to get rid of the ice, rid of the ice, right. but you also don't want to create more work for yourself come spring. Right. Okay. Now, one last thing is ice on the roofs. Uh, this is a big problem, especially depending on what happens with temperatures and snow. People get ice damming and, you know, all of a sudden you have water infiltrating the house. This is calcium chloride. They're like little hockey pucks. Mm -hmm. And the idea behind this is when you get a lot of snow on a roof, you can open up this container, take this hockey puck, and toss it up on the roof. That easy? That easy. And what happens is it embeds itself on the snow, goes and works its way down, and melts the that ice dam to help you limit the amount of water that may come in through your roof. Right. That sounds fantastic. So, so helpful. Yeah. And so many different products to choose from. We're here at Ace Hardware. We are talking with Ace's home expert, Lou Manfredini, a familiar face that you would even see on the Today Show. Lou, got to say thanks for all the help. My pleasure. Check it out. Wow.
Okay, so yeah. unfortunately you won't see Lou at every Ace Hardware, though he does own an Ace Hardware store himself. He practices what he area. preaches. He, he believes in does. it. He does. Mm -hmm. You know, the great thing about Ace Hardware is that the people who work there are so knowledgeable that you know if you come to them with questions, they're going to have the answers, they have a wealth of information, and you can be best matched with the mm -hmm. product. Because, you know, I admit this is probably not going to surprise you much. I don't know a lot about home repair. <laughs> <laughs> but they want you to be able to do that in this day and age more people are doing their own right. home projects. Yep. And like you said, you want to make sure you don't damage the vegetation right. with some of the chemicals you're putting down. We're all more aware of the environment. So it's wonderful that they have those fantastic products and they're just as close as your local Ace Hardware. Yeah, lots of them located throughout West Michigan. So fantastic. definitely check them out. We'll be right back. This is 8 West.